What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about PlayStation VR and some new functionality and updates coming to the headset. Now I'm always looking forward to adding new functionality to my VR experiences. I use it predominantly for gaming right now, but I can't wait until they add new things that allow me to use it more practically in my everyday life. Because I, believe it or not, I really like putting the headset on. It's very comfortable and it takes you out of your regular rig and roll of life. So it appears there's some really interesting updates coming to PlayStation VR. VR. Sony is trying to take it more mainstream and make it more user friendly and I think overall it's going to pay off big. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation VR update. Sony launches a massive new feature to tempt casual fans. PlayStation VR gets a brand new jaunt app which launches with 150 movie and TV experiences. PlayStation VR is about more than just games as Sony teams up with jaunt to launch an immersive new TV and movie app. The PlayStation VR Jaunt app features a huge selection of virtual reality programming and gives users a chance to watch films in 360 degrees. This puts viewers in the thick of the action and is sure to appeal to casual fans who might not be as interested in PlayStation VR's gaming capabilities. Jaunt CEO George Klaykoff said, quote, We're thrilled to introduce our dynamic list of immersive VR experiences to users on a platform that is quickly evolving to be more than a gaming console. We're committed to entertaining our users, wherever they may be. And the Jaunt VR app for PlayStation VR not only brings hours of cinematic VR content to viewers worldwide, but also ensures that Jaunt continues to be available on every major consumer VR platform available." End quote. Jaunt's library includes Escape the Living Dead, Zoolander Infinity, and a Paul McCartney concert. Unfortunately, Nintendo Switch fans won't be able to download the Jaunt app because Nintendo has seemingly ruled out bringing virtual reality to its new console. A recently leaked Nintendo Switch patent suggests that Nintendo is working on a head-mounted virtual reality display for the console. Any potential Nintendo Switch virtual reality device would have supposedly worked in the same way as the Samsung Gear VR and Google Daydream. Nintendo has since said that the virtual reality patent is unlikely to be used. So I've actually used Jaunt. I downloaded it the first day it became available. I watched some horror stuff. I got into, I, I saw two zombie, I guess you can call them clips. They're not full films. Uh, one was about two and a half minutes long. Uh, you were this guy who was bit by a zombie. You jump on the back of this truck and there's zombies coming, you know, from every direction. You're trying to escape this compound. And ultimately, you turn into a zombie, and the, the woman who, I guess your wife, the girl, the love of your life, sees this happen to you, and she shoots you and runs, and basically, the compound blows up. Uh, I saw it. It was, a, it was a nice experience. I will say this, that the video and jaunt, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's very blurry. Even when you have the headset put on perfectly, the resolution is very, very low in these films. You can see what's happening. But it's not like watching a film. It's not like watching a movie. It's not like being in a movie theater. It's like someone puts a filter over your eyes and everything is being played through a filter. I think that the idea of what they're doing here has great applications. I just don't know that PlayStation VR has the technical power to relay it in a way that's as meaningful as I think the developers and filmmakers would like it to be uh, perceived. It's just kind of blurry. I put the headphones in. I had the 3D audio going. The dynamic sound was awesome. I really like the fact that, uh, you know, this is a possible thing. <laughs> There's one uh, zombie film where basically you stand on the side of the road and this police car pulls up with a bunch of badasses who take out this group of zombies. And there was this one zombie the entire time who stood there and didn't even take a step. It was this lazy ass actor. Hopefully she didn't get paid because you can turn around and see her the entire time while all the other zombies are walking. And she just stood there until the car came and then when they shot her, she finally moved. I thought that was totally hilarious that this chick got away with it. <laughs> but I think Jaunt has a, a very nice future. The films that are on the application now are very short. But if you have PlayStation VR and you want to try something new, I would say download it. It's totally free. There's different genres. And I don't know exactly how many films they have on there, but I know it's not 150. There's, they might be adding more as I speak, but I only saw about 10 or 12 when I downloaded the app. But if you guys have PlayStation VR, check it out. I think it's definitely worth seeing. It's, it's free, so it's a great service, especially if you want to do something different with your VR. Let me know how you like the John app in the description below. I think it's pretty cool. I just hope that in the future with new iterations of PlayStation VR, that they're able to increase the resolution and make these films look like traditional films as far as picture quality. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at Beastly Game Com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.
Oh.